Explaining that this stone is cut out. It was a mezuzah. There. This was right? a Jewish home. They used to use this at the door. This was the uh, the gap was a mezuzah. The Arabs took apart Jewish homes and they used those stones to pave a floor. <laughs> so 
such a Hollywood feel out was directed toward this spot. Whenever, whenever we're wherever we are in the world, wherever we are in Israel, wherever we are in the world, we always directing all of our prayers over to Lot and coming to this spot to look to Shemayim. Their father, when he was about to pass away, they said, Shema Yisrael, deny the Hebrew, deny the Hebrew, deny the Hebrew, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, the Hebrew, the the it should be right after we say Sphere Homer every night. We say Parafaman, Puya Hazir, Lanu, Avodat, Beit Nash, Lun Koma, Lun Hera, Veaminu, Men Salah. Do you remember what, is, what we say? We have our uh, weekly Shabbat, we have our daily uh, cycles, we have the Shemitah, we have uh, the Yovel, if you can find it. Um, but then there's another part of the Torah world that says that it's going not in a circle but in a helix, that we are moving towards our destiny. So we've just commemorated 69 years of the state. We've commemorated 50 years of the um, uh, regaining of Yushalayim. And we're in the process of trying to uh, regain Harabai. We're, we're in that part of the Torah world. Um, the Torah says, three times a year you shall uh, appear before me. So I'm not a revolutionary. 
Uh, I'm simply doing what the rum, uh, like the rum bum says, and not giving in to a torrent that uh, enables you to avoid doing mitzvahs if it's not so convenient. Um, I'm not a revolutionary. I'm simply just trying to contribute another small brick to the process of building our holy temple. I am not a revolutionary. I'm just trying to follow as best I can what's written in our holy writings. And uh, I'm not a revolutionary. I'm simply um, a part of the Torah world which believes we should take a personal responsibility for our destiny of the nation. So I just want to finish off by saying, uh, particularly this time, it's really auspicious. We've read Parshat uh, Bamidbar, and we've seen the uh, disposition of the Israeli camp and where the, uh, the Shvatim are, and where the Machane Shekina was, Machane Levia. And so uh, that's where we get our uh, basis for understanding what we're doing up here now. We're coming up to Shavuos, and Shavuos is an approach to the mountain. We're approaching the mountain here. Uh, there's a sort of an association with mountains that if we're looking for an elevation of our neshamas, that's what has to be there. And um, we, lastly, uh, again, we're doing what uh, was done on Shavuot's time. The people were trying to be as pure as they could in coming for Hashem. We go out with a victory. Okay, you hear what they're saying? This, excuse me, this bottom step over here, come here. The bottom step over here, she's explaining that they, that was actually not a step. That bottom step actually was the original kotel, the original you know, uh, wall of the Beit Midash. The real kotel, in other words. Right? Everybody was talks about the kotel, right? The kotel that we have now is built by Hordus. Okay, so it's right that step, so then if you, if you were really, really huh? down, so then you see the... Really What's that? Exactly, okay. exactly. Because remember, the, wall, the, the floor that we're on right now is not the original floor yeah, of the Harbaya. This is much uh, higher up. So we have to go deep down to get to the original area. <laughs>
Inside, inside the building, you can see the chandelier hanging down. You see where the chandelier is? That's where Avishtia is. Shir Shir Khadash Uvir Na 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 Le 